Hello friends, welcome to this course in ANSYS. In this lecture, we will know how to create the meshing whenever we have contact between the bodies. Now to understand this, I will go to geometry and then import and then I will import the file that is contact mesh. So select this file and click open and once again go to edit. So inside this file, we can see a contact has been generated between this solid part and these pins. So I can go to this connection, contact, we can see contact region 1 and contact region 2 here. So here I am not changing the type of contact that are created. I just have to make the changes into the meshing. So let's say I will go to this mesh. Now if I go to mesh right click and then generate the mesh. So here we can see onto this body tetra mesh has been generated while onto this pins hex mesh has been generated because the pins are sweepable bodies. Now I want to create some refinement into this mesh. Now to create the refinement basically I want a refined mesh with respect to the contacts. Now to do this I will go to this mesh first we can make some changes into the size so I will click on this section plane cancel this and here let's say the element size I am taking take some smaller element size let's say this is 3 and then once again generate the mesh. Okay after that I will go to this mesh right click insert and we can see contact sizing click on this here we need to select the contact so click on this arrow and I select contact region 1 we can specify an element size here so here I want to specify a smaller element size so let's say this is 1 mesh right click and then generate the mesh so here we can see along the contact the mesh refinement has been increased. We can also reduce the element size to have a better view 0.5 let's say and then mesh generate. So now we can see along with the contact a fine mesh has been created so click on pen and drag this. Similar thing we can do on to the other side. So mesh, right click, contact sizing. This time I will select contact region 2 and let's say the element size 0.5 and then mesh, right click, generate the mesh. So we can change the element size depending on the requirement and depending on the refinement we want. So here we can see mesh refinement has been increased. So after that we will learn how to create the mesh copy. Now to understand this I will go to file and close this. I will go to workbench once again and I insert one more analysis. Here in the geometry right click and then import. I will import the file that is mesh copy. Select this file and then click open and then edit this. Now inside this file, let's say I want to generate the mesh. So right click and then generate the mesh. So here we can see a mesh has been generated. So let's say I want to, I want this mesh of proper element size. So let's say I said I take element size that is 2 and then generate the mesh. Okay this is very small element size let's say I increase this to 5 and then generate the mesh. After that what I do here we can see we have identical type of bodies. Now I will go to mesh right click refinement. And let's say I want to create refinement onto this top face. 
select this and then apply let's say refinement level that is 2 and then right click and then generate the mesh so here we can see the mesh has been refined onto this body and let's say I want to similarly refine the bodies onto these other parts so whenever we have multiple features of same type we can use an option that is called mesh copy so I will go to this mesh right click go to mesh copy we need to select the source file that is source stop face apply then target face so select this face this is target and then right click generate the mesh so with this option we can see a similar type of mesh has been generated onto the second body similarly whenever we have multiple copies let's say 8 10 copies of similar feature we can use this option of mesh copy